Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 20th of 2020. Well, it is titled seeing Titan. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of one of the large moons of the solar system. And in fact, the only large moon around the giant planet Saturn. And that is the large moon Titan. Titan is really unique in that it is the only moon in the in this solar system with a significant atmosphere. So while there are other moons that are larger, some of them around Jupiter uh, are larger than Titan. And it's comparable in size to say our moon, uh, the Earth's moon that orbits around us. However, it is the only one that has an atmosphere. Now, why does Titan have an atmosphere even though larger moons don't? Well, likely because Titan is further out in the solar system. So it's colder. And that means that the gases move slower and are harder to escape. So there is an escape velocity from any object which depends on its mass and its radius. And depending on how hot it is will tell us how fast the gases are moving. So the similar gases here if they existed on our moon would be moving at faster than the escape velocity and would easily escape out into space. Um, whereas a Titan that's much colder and those gases are moving some more slowly and are better able to be held. Now as we look here we see the central image is the visible light image of Titan which is not stand out very much and that's because Titan is shrouded in clouds so not only does it have an atmosphere but it is completely shrouded in clouds much like the planet Venus and that makes it very difficult to study the surface even the most powerful optical telescopes just see those clouds and can't look through them. Now the other six images that we see around are infrared images. Infrared is better able to penetrate through the clouds and give us a view of the surface. So we can see some of the features on the surface here in these six images. Now Titan is also unique in that it has a liquid on its surface. Uh, it, in fact, the only other object with a liquid on its surface is the Earth. The Earth has liquid water on its surface. Titan has methane. So at the much colder temperatures of at Titan's distance from the sun, methane behaves much like water does here on Earth. And in some cases, we can see methane uh, lakes and rivers, not at the resolution we're seeing here, but in more close up images, we've been able to detect those. So it looks like Titan has a methane cycle much as we have a water cycle, where you would get the rivers and lakes and then evaporation of the methane and then methane methane rain. So we would have a methane cycle much like we have a water cycle here on Earth. And that is, of course, one of the things we look at, you know, is there a possibility of life on Titan? We know that a liquid is needed for to facilitate chemical reactions. Water is one of the best for being able to do this. But would something like methane be able to work as well? And could there be some kind of life below those clouds uh, on Titan? So that was our picture of the day for August the 20th of 2020. It was titled Seeing Titan. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Unwinding M51. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.